Hello and welcome to this video demonstration of how to correctly fit the 3M 6500 Quick Latch Series reusable respirators. George will now demonstrate how to fit the medium 6502 respirator. The procedure also covers the 6501 small and 6503 large models. Prior to fitting your respirator, make sure that your face is clean shaven. This respirator should not be worn with facial hair under the area of the face seal. Make sure that long hair is tied back and jewellery is removed so that it does not interfere with the seal to the face. To begin, remove the respirator from its box and inspect the respirator and its components for damage prior to each use. Prior to fitting the respirator to your face, you should fit appropriate filters. Firstly, we demonstrate the fitting of encapsulated 6035 and 6038 series particulate filters. Before fitting, check that the filters are within their use by date. Align the line on the inside of the filter to the triangular marking on the mask and secure in place with a quarter turn clockwise. You should fill the filters lock into place. 2000 series particulate filters are also fitted onto the respirator with a quarter turn clockwise. Again, you should fill the filters lock into place. To fit gas and vapour filters or combination filters, align the lines on the inside of the filter to the triangular marking on the mask and secure in place with a quarter turn clockwise. Remember to always replace filters as a pair. The method of fitting the respirator to the face is the same regardless of which filters have been fitted until you reach the fit check. Before fitting, ensure that the quick latch is closed and the upper straps are seated in the latch guides. To fit, place the respirator over your nose and mouth, fitting it comfortably on the bridge of your nose. Then, pull the head harness over the crown of your head. Next, take a bottom strap in each hand and hook them together at the back of your neck. Ensure the straps have not become twisted. You can tighten the top head harness by pulling on the end of the straps to achieve a comfortable and secure fit. The bottom straps can be tightened in the same way. It should feel snug against your face, but take care not to over tighten. Strap tension can be decreased by pushing out on the back of the buckles. The quick latch enables wearers to temporarily remove the face piece from the face without moving the head harness from its position on the crown of the head. Please note the quick latch should only be moved to drop down position in non-contaminated environments. To lower the face piece from the in-use position on the face to the drop down position below the chin, pull up and open the quick latch with your thumb. The face piece will loosen from the face and will slide to the drop down position. Use your thumb and first two fingers to guide it into position. It will then rest below the chin. To raise the face piece from the drop down position to the in-use position, Grasp the front of the face piece with the first two fingers at the top of the opened quick latch and the thumb below. Place the face piece over the mouth and nose, then push the quick latch down and click into the lower closed position. The seal of the respirator on the face should be fit checked before entering the workplace. If 6035, 6038 or 2000 series particulate filters have been fitted, a negative pressure fit check should be performed. For 6035 or 6038 particulate filters, press the filter cover and filter body together between your thumb and fingers. Take special care to squeeze the filter in the middle. For 2000 series particulate filters, press your thumbs into the central indentation of the filters. In both instances, this seals the filter and restricts airflow. Whilst continuing to seal the filters, inhale gently and hold your breath for 5 to 10 seconds you should feel the face piece collapse slightly. If it does not, and you detect air leaks at the sill, adjust the fit, taking extra care with the tension adjustment of the straps, then repeat the fit check. If gas and vapour filters or combination filters have been fitted, a positive pressure fit check is performed by placing the palm of your hand over the exhalation valve cover, being careful not to disturb the fit of the respirator. You should then exhale gently, if the face piece bulges slightly and no air leaks are detected between the face and the face piece, a proper seal has been obtained. If it does not and you detect air leaks at the seal, adjust the fit, taking extra care with the tension adjustment of the straps. Then repeat the fit check. 
If you cannot achieve a proper fit, inform your supervisor and do not enter the hazardous area. The respirator should be cleaned at the end of each shift, dried at room temperature and stored in a sealed container. The performance of your respirator relies on an adequate seal between the respirator and your face to ensure contaminated air does not leak in. The method of measuring whether or not you have an adequate seal is to pass a face fit test. Fit testing should not be confused with a pre-use fit check which should be conducted every time you use your respirator. For more information on fit testing, please visit www.3m.co.uk forward slash fit test respirator. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration video. For further information, please visit www.3m.co.uk forward slash safety or call our UK and Ireland helpline numbers.